Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I travel with my rabbit. I'll be showing you guys the entire process of traveling with my rabbit, but every trip and every rabbit is gonna require slightly different things, but I hope this video is still useful and that you're able to get some tips from it. So for this trip, it will include a five hour car ride there, two nights in a hotel, and then a five hour car ride back. Now we'll be leaving tomorrow morning, which is Friday. So we'll be leaving Friday morning and we'll be coming back Sunday evening. So one thing I did want to point out about taking your rabbit traveling with hotels is you definitely want to call ahead and make sure that even if they're pet friendly, that they are going to allow your rabbit. So I previously called my hotel when I made the reservation and told them I have a rabbit. Are you guys okay with that? So make sure that wherever you're traveling, rabbits are allowed. One other thing I want to quickly mention before we get into the bulk of this video is that yeah, Yes, rabbits don't necessarily do well in car rides. I've honestly never had issues with my rabbits. If this is going to be your first time traveling with your rabbit in a long distance car ride, I would highly recommend taking your rabbit on a couple shorter car rides. So that way, one, they get used to it, and two, you kind of know how they're going to react. Are they going to be absolutely pissed at you and stop eating afterwards? Or are they just going to be kind of scared and then be okay? That is one recommendation that I would have. That's something I have done with all of the rabbits that I've ever taken on longer car rides. Now this car ride is only five hours. I've actually taken my rabbits on longer car rides for about 15 hours and they do okay. They've always done pretty well considering that it's 15 hours. You just have to make a couple stops and make sure that you're offering them things like water and hay, veggies. But since this is only five hours, you don't really have to worry about that as much. My rabbits do really well with five hour trips. You guys will see that later in this video when we actually take my rabbit Cocoa Puff for the five hour car ride. That's enough talking. Right now, today, we are going to do all of the packing, get everything ready, so that way we can leave right away tomorrow morning. So let's do some packing. To start packing, I just lay out everything that I know I'm going to need, such as an exercise pen, a bunny snoozer, which is a rabbit bed that I sell on my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below, some toys, a wooden tunnel, paper towel, and some cleaning solution, which is half water, half white vinegar, some extra hay, some bags to carry everything in, a water bowl, some treats, some pellets, a sheet with some clothespins for the top of the enclosure so he has no chance of escaping, an extra fleece blanket for the bottom of his carrier, a fleece blanket for the bottom of his enclosure, and a garbage bag. Once I have everything laid out, I will go ahead and pack everything and organize everything into the bags that I already laid out. And I almost forgot, but I do need to bring a cooler for his veggies. Now I am just prepping his veggies. He will have a total of four meals while we are gone, which would be Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. He gets veggies twice a day. I actually give him a pellet-free diet so he doesn't get pellets that often. He will just get veggies which I do hope to do a video soon on his new rabbit diet. We've been doing it for over a year and it's been absolutely amazing just cutting out those pellets. And you'll notice here I'm shredding up a lot of the leaves and that is because my bunny does not have his incisors anymore, which means he can't shred the lettuce himself. So I have to do it for him. Now that I have all the veggies sorted, I will go ahead and give them a good wash here in the sink. Now 
Now that his veggies are all clean, I'm using some paper towel to kind of separate each of his meals and to dry off the veggies as much as possible. And I'm just organizing them here into two separate plastic containers. So there'll be two meals in each and I'm separating each meal by another piece of paper towel. Now that his veggies are all ready, I'm just sticking them in the fridge until we leave tomorrow morning. Here's just a cute video of Coco Puff grooming himself while I was trying to pack everything. He is such a fluffy bunny. So next I am getting his carrier ready. This is a 19 inch top loading cat carrier and I'm using a fleece blanket to line the bottom for some nice comfort on his paws. Then I am taking a handful of Timothy grass hay and putting that at the back so that way he has access to hay the entire car trip. After putting the hay in his carrier, I realized he couldn't even see out the front so I just pat down the fleece blanket so he can see out. And his carrier is all ready to go. I have an extra fleece blanket that I will put on top of the carrier while in the car. Last but not least, we have to prep his litter box which I will leave a video linked up above in the iCards that showcases my entire litter box cleaning and setup routine. So I just start by lining the bottom with a dog pee pad. And then I'm putting about two cups of litter in the bottom of his litter box. I use Oxbow's Eco Straw. And then I am just filling his entire litter box full of hay. Here is some Timothy grass. And then I'm also adding some orchard grass. And I always get my haze from Oxbow. I've never had any problems. I know some people have had problems with the quality of hay, but I've always had good luck with Oxbow. Now that his litter box is full of hay, plenty enough for two days, I'm just taking off this shield, which I will link this litter box down below if I can find it, if it's still available. I absolutely love this litter box and I am just putting it in a garbage bag so it stays nice and neat while in the car. And it will also double as an extra trash bag while we're there. Good morning, it is now the next day, the day we are traveling. We plan on leaving in about 30 to 45 minutes, but right now I'm going to feed Coco Puff his breakfast, which just consists of veggies and a treat. I'm also gonna make sure he has some fresh hay, just allow him to kind of relax and eat here before we leave for our trip. I do think it's very important that a rabbit doesn't go into a car trip hungry. So whenever you take your bunny on a long car trip, I would advise you to feed them their breakfast or their dinner just like normal before you go on the trip. Also this morning I purposely did not dry off his veggies. Sometimes I will dry off his veggies after I wash them. I purposely did not this morning to make sure that he's nice and hydrated as well for this trip. On longer trips I would be putting a bowl that attaches to his crate or his carrier and allowing him to drink while we make rest stops. But since it's only five hours and we're only going to make maybe one small stop that's not really going to work. So we're going to make sure he's trying hydrated before the trip and yeah never had any problems he should do well so let's go ahead and feed him this morning
So we are all packed now. I got Coco Puff already in the car. We only have to get our dogs in the car and we are ready to go. He's doing pretty well already and he's just sitting right here. He has this blanket over the top of his crate just to keep the sun out of his eyes and also to create kind of a safe haven because we will have our dogs in here. He will be putting moose right next to Cocoa Puff and moose is super calm around rabbits. So he should be pretty good. So we're gonna get on the road and if we make that one stop, I will see you guys then. Go, go. Can you eat some hay? We just finished unpacking, so we're all settled in. The dogs are right here. We have all of Cocoa Puff's stuff. You'll notice I took a blanket here just to kind of create an extra barrier between Cocoa Puff and the dogs when we're not in the room. Otherwise, everything for Cocoa Puff is set up now. And as you can see, he is already eating hay over there and making a mess. And you can even see a little pool ball right there. It's definitely a good sign. So we have his bunny snooze over there tunnel toys water and yeah he's doing good So it's now a Sunday morning and we're about to head home. As you guys just saw, I already fed Coco Puff his breakfast this morning and really all we have to do is pack him up and get settled back in the car. All packed up. Coco Puff is showing me his butt. But he's in there.
So we just got home and I already put Coco Puff back in his room. He's been grooming himself and munching on some hay, so he's been doing really well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found some tips for how to travel with your own bunny. And if you did like this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. And until then, live life to the fullest.